Well, I took a walk again this morning along the same road that I was on yesterday when I filmed an Asian giant hornet that was dying. And I found the hornet again and it has in fact died. So I wanted to take advantage of this opportunity to uh, uh, get a close-up view of the animal and show you its true size. You can see I'm holding it in my hand here. And you can see this is a very formidable uh, specimen of, uh, of a wasp. Can you imagine having this thing chase you down? Look at the uh, eyes and uh, the face on this. Amazing. See the large compound eyes and the uh, multiple eyes there on the forehead? See if we can get closer. The wind is kind of buffering me. It's a rainy day today. It's really dropped. Temperature's really dropped. And uh, beautiful. See the beautiful hairs along the thorax there? Now, uh, one of the distinguishing features between bees and flies is that, uh, bees, wasps, and flies, is that, uh, f well, uh, whereas both bees and wasps and flies, they all have uh, four sections of their wings, bees and wasps actually have two separate wings. Can you see it right there? See the two joints coming out of the body there? Those are two separate uh, wings on either side that basically, uh, in a way, act as a single wing, but you can see it there. Now, um, you can tell a fly from a bee because the flies actually have the second uh, jointed section there, the, the second wing in the back. is vestigial. It's been reduced to a little drum. And that drum is, I can't recall the name of the drum, but it's used like a uh, gyroscope when they're flying. And this is the reason that uh, flies can do such wonderful aerobatics. Their uh, second wing, their rear wing, has been reduced to basically a, uh, a, a gyroscope. Now, you, now, bees and wasps have uh, all four uh, wings, actually, uh, as wings, although they behave as uh, single wings on either side. Very interesting little point difference there. One way you can tell a fly from a bee. Look at the beautiful body segments there, the, uh, the, the uh, sections there. All insects have uh, three body segments. There's a head, you can see here, beautiful head section. A thorax, that's where the uh, muscles are for the uh, uh, legs and uh, the wings. And then an abdomen. Now one of the characters in the abdomen back here is where a lot of the uh, internal organs and digestive uh, uh, elements, reproductive organs, are kept back here. Bees, wasps, and ants are known for their very narrow midsection between the uh, thorax and the abdomen. Now it's a little slippery, it's hard to hold this straight, and, uh, um, but I'll try to give a good shot here of the uh, legs now. Um, it's beautiful, beautiful antenna. Look at those mandibles. Boy, they could really do some damage if they wanted to. No wonder uh, uh, these insects are able to, uh, to pr prey upon other insects so easily. Now, one thing that was, I found very interesting when, with this animal when I picked it up was noting that it had died with its stinger extruded. Or if extruded, I don't know if that's the right word, but extended. Look at that thing, wow. Can you imagine having that jammed inside you, uh, exuding some of uh, uh, the toxins into your body? Now we had some interesting comments from people after my first video yesterday. Some people were commenting that the, uh, the venom may be strong enough, potent enough to kill you on its own, whether or not you had uh, an allergic reaction or not. Some people said that uh, the, the toxin was strong enough to dissolve flesh, dissolve human flesh. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know the facts on, on the potency of the venom, or even if venom is the right word, but uh, I can imagine that could do some serious damage. Now, just an amazing creature. I'm going to go ahead and just put it in my hand here. Hopefully I won't sting myself with it. Now, look at that thing in my palm. That is one formidable, large hornet. I certainly wouldn't want to have a swarm of these chasing me. Well, it's a sad thing to see it die like that. Look at that stinger, my goodness. But a wonderful opportunity to uh, film it and to have a close-up look. I mentioned uh, in some comments yesterday that I, uh, uh, in the video, that I was, uh, I've been chasing this animal for years, and that's literally the, a fact. No kidding, chasing this. I have been running after this animal when I spotted in the fields uh, to try and get a shot uh, at it, but it's a difficult thing because they move so quickly, and also I don't want to get too close to a live, healthy specimen and arouse its, uh, uh, <laughs> It's anger, although I've been told that they are not so aggressive when they're wandering about in the field, that they're typically more aggressive when you disturb their nests. Fascinating animal. Okay, well, let's go ahead and put it here in the bushes and uh, let it rest in peace. Oh, dripping everywhere. There we go. Thanks for dropping by to have a look at this fascinating uh, and wonderful insect. I'm gonna resume my walk and uh, try to stay warm. It's really cold. Take care. Bye-bye.